Hi, I'm Tim Buntellum, Senior Product Manager for Flash Builder at Adobe. I'm going to give you a quick look at another great new feature in Flash Builder 4 that's going to help you work with Cold Fusion when handling large record sets. Now, pretty much every web developer has had to face this at one time or another. You've got a database table with thousands of records, and you don't want to show all of those on a single web page at the same time. So you end up writing a lot of custom logic to page through those records, maybe 10 or 20 at a time, as the user clicks a Next button or a Previous button. But there's a little bit of complexity involved in that for you, the web developer, to figure out what record do I start at, and how do I fetch just a specific number of records from the database. This new feature in Flash Builder 4 is going to make that really dramatically simpler. Let's take a look. So here you'll see I have a Cold Fusion component, get all items, but this time it's the paged version of it. And it takes two arguments, a start index and a count for the number of items I want to fetch each time the operation is called. Now back in Flash Builder, I've already created my service and imported that Cold Fusion component. So you'll see this get items paged uh, operation available here. Now, if I right-click on that operation, I have a new option from the menu here called Enable Paging. By selecting that, I can simply identify what's the primary key for this data type. In this case, it's my employee number. And optionally, I can specify an operation for the count of records in the database. This would allow me to do something like put a label that said, now showing record 1 through 10 of 400. And when I click Finish, you'll see that in my Services Explorer, I now have a small page icon next to this operation. This means that paging on that operation is going to be handled automatically by uh, my uh, Flex application. So I'll show you how it works. If I take a data grid out into my design view, and if I bind the results of that paged operation to the data grid, and now run the application, I haven't had to write any code to say, go and fetch the next few records each time. But watch as I scroll down. See that little clock icon where my cursor is? That's meaning that Flash is going out and fetching the next set of records each time I scroll down through this large record set. You might not believe me, though, because this looks pretty smooth. So let me show you one other feature to explain what's really happening behind the scenes with this paging operation. Another great new feature in Flash Builder is called the Network Monitor. What the Network Monitor allows us to do is see the traffic that's going back and forth between the Flash application and the Cold Fusion server behind the scenes. So I'm going to enable the Network Monitor here. And this time, when I run my application in debug mode, the Network Monitor will capture that traffic as it moves back and forth between the Flash player and the Cold Fusion server. Let me take that same code now, and I'll run it in debug mode. And again, watch, you'll see that icon as I scroll through this large record set. And if we go back into Builder now, you'll see all of these remote service calls are now populated in my network monitor. And you'll see down here the parameters each time I'm taking 20 records starting at row number 7840. Next time, I take 20 records starting at row 7740. And I can even see the result of all the data that's being passed back and forth. All right, so I haven't had to write any special code. And now I'm able to handle this really complex large record set automatically between the Flash application and the Cold Fusion server. And to help me in my debugging effort, I can use the new network monitor in Flash Builder 4 to actually see that traffic going back and forth between the server. So this is just another great uh, example of all of the data-centric features in Flash Builder 4 that will allow you, the Cold Fusion developer, to really be successful with Flex in a new way. So go to Adobe Labs today, download the Flash Builder 4 beta, and give it a try for yourself.